Hello guys and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. Now then, in this episode, I'm going to be getting the max spreading ready. Um, so first off, we've got to move this. Well, the conveyor belt. So that we can fill up the trailer. Also, at some point, I'm going to have to start drilling that field. Um, don't know how that's going to work. We're trying to get it down the road, but I'll find a way. But yeah, start to fill up the muck spreader once I've taken this into the field. Bought the trailer, well, bought the muck spreader here and also the trailer. Um, so pretty much set it up this. Hopefully this can uh, <laughs> I didn't even try to get them in your uh, yeah it can that's good. So fill it up and then we're gonna end up taking it down to the field. But first off I'm gonna have to start drilling the potatoes um I don't know how that's going to really work, but I'll find a way. Hmm. I want to fill out. There we go. Now then, uh, probably. Yeah, we'll use this tractor for the potatoes. Get front weight for this. And then we can start to get ready. We'll be most ready in that field at, well, after I've drilled, because I think that's how it works on here. Um, I mean, don't think you can much spread then drill. Kind of disappointing, but oh well. Can't do it. So, take this down to the shop. 38 mile an hour. It's a nice speed for getting to and from places. I may get another one of these at some point. I have two JCBs, two Dukes. Um, maybe get rid of the T8s at some point. Further on down the line. Um, I don't know what we could well we can buy a lot of big equipment now possibly do that field as well with potatoes I don't know let's get it cultivated though I definitely know uh, that I'd be bringing the wheel, uh, New Holland down here. Well, the New Holland wheeled loader. And the grab. <laughs> As I can imagine, I'm trying to fill up something. <laughs> well, I'm trying to fill up that manure spreader with a simple grab it wouldn't work yeah this is quite wide I think it's uh, 6 meters I think so then we could take up the whole road we could try to miss the cars anyway, uh, this won't fit through there I don't think yes it will just about so, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try to do it. Uh, what do you call it? Auto tractor type thing uh, with a headland. So then, all I have to do oh, sort out the headland at some point. Uh, so, five, up and down. There's a headland on. Yeah, 11 metre, that should be enough. 
negative side left, there we go. Now then. Hopefully that should be driven. Yep. Eight mile an hour is the maximum. Anyway, that can be going off there. Now then, uh, is the trailer full? Yes, apparently it is. So I want the yeah, front weight full. This should have enough power. Let's go. It could be a while. Yeah. It's going to be a while. Hang on, let's try and speed up over there. Can this raise up at all? Why are them linkages down there? I think it's broken or something. That's not meant to be that close to the ground. Uh, no, it shouldn't be that close to the ground anyway. Dragging up along the road, though. I don't understand that. It shouldn't be that low. Yeah, that thing. Nah, that's too low. Shouldn't be that low. And now we can't get this out because it's too heavy. What was the problem? I never get out of this yard with anything. Milk tanker. Anything heavy, not come down this yard. Has to go out through the gate, through the cow field. Let's see if we can get some speed. Nah, not gonna end up getting out of here. Can my New Holland have tow bar on it? Probably not. Anyway, let's use it to pull it, well, to push it up. First off, see how that does.
Right then, just get into this. And hopefully, we can pull it out. Well, push the whole trailer up anyway. Using the force of this. It is actually starting to be a pain. Can't get anything out of this yard that, that weighs anything. I mean, look, even this drops power. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. I don't even think new team. Uh, possibly the uh, quad track could get out of here. Right then. Plan whichever one it is. Go through the cow fields. Yeah, it's starting to get silly this. Oh, come on, it's not that steep either. I don't know, it is a bit I dunno. Still no it doesn't get out. May end up getting a big tractor. I possibly I don't know. Uh T9 smart track. It's even gonna struggle coming out of here. Maybe not. Why on earth did I shut all these gates? This will be a problem trying to get out of here. Look, it won't even reverse. Try it. I'm gonna try something new actually. I'm hoping that gate is open. A zigzag path kind of thing. So it's not going up as steep. Yeah, this is a problem. Is this is a low lying yard as well? I won't be getting out of here, I tell them. Yeah. open up this gate or try and just peg it down the hill turn get back up again and look I'm halfway down the hill stuck
It shouldn't be getting stuck with a trailer like this anyway. Look how slidey that is though. Slowing down again. is annoying. It happens every time. It's, it's just a small gate there to get into that field. That makes my life so much easier. I'm having to run up and down the field and a zigzag motion to get out every time. This is what happened with the milk. I had to come out this way. Or even if there was a proper road. I could get some decent grip on. Uh, 60 mile off the up here. Wow. Yep, stuck again. down here, using momentum to get back up. This isn't even the hardest part. Looks steady. Don't lose power. Then just keep them wheels turning. Uh, we've got somewhere here. So close, like meters away from the road. I can't even get out. I just slide in back. Right then, um, plan fifty billion and two. straight through them fields at 26 miles an hour and hopefully we're able to get enough speed and power to ram it up the hill There's enough power here to run the whole unit up. 
Not even I'm losing power. set this up correctly that should push me up the hill yes come on this is when the back wheels raise off the ground and I can't get out yes so shift F I can just wait there for now right let's go <laughs> 150,000 litres of and then you're 150 tons blank. I'll just go, I can't stop. I think I'll put manure in that field actually. Instead of the one with potatoes, so then I can do the whole potato field without having to steer out the way of the thing in the make 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 loading a bit easier as well and I can just mm, drive up here yeah right I'll buy a placeable heap So then, this is the manure heap. It keeps growing. That's going to be interesting. Alright, let's leave this here for now. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. It really helps. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.